Rice is a staple food for 3.5 billion people. Asia has 200 million rice farms. Around 30% of rice planted by farmers is destroyed by disease, insects, and weather. Rice is such an important crop, but so much is destroyed every year. Yes, the destruction of crops like rice is a huge problem in agriculture. Can't we do anything about it? Farmers and scientists have come up with several solutions. We spray fields with pesticides that kill insects. We protect crops from extreme weather by covering them with a clear cover or by adding a layer of mulch for moisture. We even modify the genes of these crops to make them resistant to such tough conditions. These genetically modified crops then produce genetically modified foods. Genetically modified foods? What are those? I'll explain. First, give me an example of a modified food. Hmm, to modify means to change. So, milk with added vitamin D is a modified food. That's a great example. The milk we get from cows is modified by humans when we add vitamin D. But in this process, no genes are changed. Foods in which the genes are changed by humans to produce desirable characteristics are called genetically modified foods. Genetic modification is interesting, but how specifically does it help crops like rice? Let's see how it helps by taking a closer look at some examples. Bacterial diseases that affect rice are a huge problem as they destroy many crops. Some varieties of rice are more resistant to these diseases than others. Scientists conducted experiments to find out the gene responsible for this resistance. They then added this gene to other varieties of rice. The seeds of these genetically modified varieties were found to be resistant to these bacterial diseases as well. Therefore, genetic modification improved the harvest of these varieties. Crops can also be genetically modified to become resistant to insects, fungi, or viruses. Let's look at another example. In the past, a large percentage of corn crops were destroyed by insects, like caterpillars. Scientists discovered that a bacterium known as Bacillus thuringiensis, or Bt, produces a poison that kills these insects. They discovered the gene that produces this poison and inserted it into corn seeds. As a result, this variety of corn, known as Bt corn, was poisonous to pests, and the crop harvest increased greatly. Hmm, it's great that the crop survived. But I don't like the idea of inserting a bacterium gene into a crop. Isn't the poison these crops produce dangerous for humans? No, it's not. Here's a fun fact. Lots of food that is fine for humans is harmful for other species. For example, Humans love chocolate and grapes, but these foods can actually kill dogs. That's not a fun fact. That's a sad fact. But it's good to know that Bt crops are safe for humans. Yes, every new genetically modified food should be tested for safety before being eaten by humans. Agreed. Does genetic modification of food have other benefits? Yes, genetic modification can also increase the nutritional value, size, and flavor of foods. For example, golden rice is genetically modified to have extra vitamin A. Vitamin A is essential for maintaining healthy eyes. Genetically modified bananas are larger than normal bananas and grow faster. Genetically modified canola is less bitter than normal canola. Genetically modified plants can even be good for the environment. Some soil is contaminated with pollutants like mercury 
and TNT. These pollutants can be broken down by enzymes produced by genetically modified plants. The genes that produce these enzymes are taken from the bacteria. Wow, genetic modification has so many uses. Yes, it is a popular area of research. Now let's summarize what we have learned. Food in which the genes are changed by humans is called genetically modified or GM food. In agriculture, GM crops are more resistant to diseases, extreme weather, and pests. Genetic modification also increases the nutritional value, size, and flavor of foods. Genetic modification can also protect the environment. For example, enzymes by GM plants can break down pollutants in the soil 